Hello, I'm Adam from Goldenear, and I'm here to tell you all about our new T66 floor standing speaker. The T66 is based on the older Triton 2 Plus speaker, but with a huge number of improvements to it. First of all, let's look at what's inside it. We have our reference high velocity folded ribbon tweeter. This tweeter works by compressing uh, like a bellows or an accordion, squeezing air out to give a very, very wide dispersion. So unlike a normal dome tweeter, which just fires forwards into a, a small area, this disperses evenly across your entire listening space. So position the speaker is very, very simple. We then have two four and a half inch mid-range drive units. These use our multi-vein phase plug here in the middle. As the drive unit moves, the sound pro uh, propelled forward is dispersed evenly throughout the entire area, both her vertically and horizontally by the multi-vein phase plug there. So again, easy to position, easy to get sound all around the room. Those two mid drivers and the tweeter will be driven by your standard amplifier or AV receiver that you have connected. Down at the bottom, we have two five inch by nine inch elliptical base drive units. These are driven by an internal amplifier. That amplifier draws 1200 watts. It's a digital amplifier and it feeds 1000 watts out to these two five inch by nine inch elliptical drive units. One here, one down at the bottom here. Now this is a sealed cabinet. So on the side of the cabinet, we have two nine by, sorry, eight by 12 inch um, base radiators. So plain our uh, magnetic drivers there. By having a sealed cabinet, it makes positioning of the speaker very, very easy. All the base is generated internally. So that it's very simple to get a large amount of power out of it whilst not having to have a very large amplifier driving it. Positioning is simple because the base is adjustable on the rear panel on a simple dial. So if you had, for example, one speaker in a corner, one in the middle of the room or away from a wall, it'd be very easy to balance them and match them perfectly. So we have easy positioning, very wide dispersion. So whatever your listening position might be, you'll enjoy the same excellent wide open and deep sound stage. The cabinet itself is internally structurally braced MDF. The cabinet is designed to have non-parallel sides. If you were to look directly at the speaker, if you could not see the side of the cabinet, that means you're looking head on and the cabinet is perfectly positioned towards your listening position. The base is a cast base and we have individual uh, controls for each corner there so you can adjust the height. This does come with rubber feet or with spikes depending on whether it's going on a wooden or a carpet floor. If we come around to the back of the speaker, we have on the rear, our amplifier module, you simply connect up a normal pair of speaker cables. Internally, that goes for a crossover, which diverts the base down to a DSP and the amplifier to run those two active drive units and those radiators. And then the passive signal is filtered up to the mid and the travel drive units. The speaker is bi-wireable, unlike previous Golden Ear designs. And because it's made by Audio Crest and Golden Ear, we don't just use normal bi-wire jumpers, we use our very high quality bare naked jumpers, which use very high quality copper jumpers to improve the sound between those uh, treble and bass uh, inputs. So unlike everyone else who will use a simple stamped brass connector or the cheapest possible connectors, even our bi-wire jumpers are of the highest quality. Speaking of cables, the internal wiring is something else that we at AudioQuest have changed inside these new Golden Ear speakers. So the internal cabling here is very similar to our AudioQuest Robin Hood Zero cable. It uses our zero characteristic impedance technology to get all of the power clear and unfiltered from the crossover directly to the mid unit and the treble unit without losing anything along, along the way. The result of this is compared to previous Golden Ear designs, we have all that fantastic warm rich bass people were expecting, but we also have a wonderfully clear treble, an incredibly detailed mid range, and again, a much wider sound stage, a much higher and a much deeper sound stage. So for musical listening, as well as for AV, these are absolutely phenomenal. And we ask you to audition them when you get a chance, please. Thank you very much.